Hello YouTube, welcome to this new video where we explore how to make the lighting for this particular scene. Um, this process is part of my online course which I have linked in the description if you want to learn how to make this cosmetic bottle uh, including modeling, texturing, lighting, rendering and everything in between including uh, geometry nodes as well. So if you want to watch it make sure to check the description for the links where you can purchase the course um so let's back back to the video uh this particular scene is lit with one single light source um if i turn it off you can see that the, the scene goes completely black and that's because that's the only light source in this scene um you can see that the result is quite realistic on the left side of my screen this is a render uh that i have made out of this project and you can see that the lighting looks quite pleasing and realistic so without further ado let's discover how to make the lighting so the first thing i'm gonna do is disable all the lighting related stuff and start from scratch i'm going to enable the overlays and control a actually shift a and let's create an area lamp now the area lamp is created I'm going to move it a little bit higher and I'm going to increase the size to about 8.4 and the power to about 6700 now the light is a little bit too white for my taste so I'm going to make it light brown uh, you can copy this hex color um, let's go back to the top view and try to adjust the light so that we get similar shadows to the left side of my screen but we are missing one step here um, we can manually rotate the light however that's a little bit too taxing and not practical and it takes a lot of time to get good results uh, if you rotate the light manually so what we are gonna do is shift a and create an empty let's scale it up a little bit and I'm going to hit F2 and name it light tracking and then I'm going to click the light, go to the object constraint properties, add that track to, and use the eyedropper tool to select the light tracking. Now the light is always is going to always be pointing at the, the empty, no matter where I move it. So now we have a lot of flexibility. And we can move the light as you can see. We can also move it a little bit higher. Let's create another view here. Let's switch one to the camera, and the other is going to be free. Um, I'm not gonna do any more adjustments because it already looks really good um, but we are missing something and that's what we are gonna do next now let's do some comparison between the real-time render on the right side of my screen and the render that I have already created with this project on the left side and you can clearly see that the shadows on the right side are a lot darker as if they are pitch black compared to the left side of my screen where they are um not as dark and that's what that's what we expect from the real world lights are not um shadows sorry are not pitch black and that's because all the light that's hitting the scene from this area lamp is bouncing off with nothing to reflect it back and we can easily fix that by creating a plane so shift a let's create a plane let's 
rotate it by the y-axis uh, by 90 degrees uh, let's change the uh, um, uh, pivot point to individual origins and let's scale this plane here let's rotate this plane and move it out of the frame now let's scale it up a little bit more Now with the first plane created, let's shift D, then rotate it and move it to the other side. If need be, we can move them a little bit farther. To darken the shadows and these were the steps to create the lighting for this particular scene with only one single light source if you want to see more and learn how to create this entire project from start to finish then please check the description for links where you can purchase the course and unlock access to the assets including the sticker but also eight lectures that run for about two hours and teach you everything from modeling the bottle to texturing it to uh, creating this particular layout using geometry nodes and also lighting as we have discovered but also rendering and a lot of shortcuts and tips and tricks thank you for watching this video i'll hope to see you next time bye